Well, any, any, any producers out there want to make a beat for us? Hey, hey, mm. I need something I can do this. No, I need it to be faster. Hey, faster. Hey, <laughs> say, hear what they say. They say what they hear. Hear on the head. <laughs> some topics to talk to you about mm -hmm. um but first we say thank you in it for some more thank you so it's of thank you. Say, thank you we should try and get this commission for thank real thank you for real thank you thank you thank you but yeah what has been happening did you catch on the bbc though trina was on the bbc did you catch me on the bbc though with the afro yeah oh afro day Af world afro day world afro day did mm -hmm. you take part did you did you yeah that was really cool um I just think it was important to have the discussion about World Afro Day. Mm -hmm. I was really glad that it was like this viral thing, which yes. I thought was so important. It really went well. I was like, go on, yeah. Um, yeah, man, just include people in the conversation, mm -hmm. as usual. And a lot of us, a lot of Americans tweeting about World Afro Day. Yes. And I don't know if they know that it's actually started from here. For yes. once, not yes. started from here. That's right, that's right, get it right. Um, but yeah, it was just so cool that like, people sharing the pictures, using the hashtag. Mm. That's what it's about, that's what, for me, the natural hair community is about the yes. celebration of you know an empowerment. Oh, yeah, nice. So it's good to bring that back. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because sometimes bring that excitement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of like, oh, this is why we're doing this. Just sharing amongst our sisters. Like, I loved it. And men, and men. men yeah, more men too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, well done, Pato. Well so segueing onto something hair related, we posted something on our Instagram about um. A model called Gabriella, who was on Caribbean Next Top Model, which I didn't know existed, so that was um, interesting. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> even know, to be fair. Anyway, um, <laughs> but she had beautiful, beautiful hair, mm -hmm. um, and you know, in America's Next Top Model or the Top Model series, they yeah. do the whole transformation mm -hmm. series episode where you then have this <laughs> change, change where you dye your hair, cut your hair, whatever. My girl was told to relax her. Hair. And she was crying about it, she was upset, she was like, I don't want to do this. And she actually said she was going to go home, so I was surprised she didn't do it. Yeah, I was waiting for it. But you got to think, if you're in, in her position, like, yeah, yeah. As in, a lot of people will be like, Shh, I would have just left, but if that's something you were genuine, like, that's such a about. big opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I definitely understand why she didn't go home. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just like, I probably would have suggested something else. Like, okay. Me, I was like, like oh, there's silk press, or... Yeah. <laughs> So we can't just do a little straighten. The keratin like blow out yeah, kind of thing. So there are oh, other um, alternatives to relaxers nowadays and that's the issue. Yeah. Um so yeah. But the fact that yeah, I just couldn't believe it like to relax. I think that's stepping over it's the too mark. far because relaxers we know they have health implications too. So you can now kind of like to chemically straighten your hair. Yeah, that's that's too far. It's not reversible. And I get cutting your hair is not reversible idea. Yeah, yeah. But this that goes into your bloodstream. Like, I'm just not, it's just so, uh, I don't know. But they were just like, yeah, it's justified. Like, this is what you need to do in the industry. And da, da, da. it's just like, <laughs> that's definitely not an industry I want to be part of. For that's real, it's not good. Um, and to be honest, I always feel like companies are just so behind the mark. Like, if you're going to talk about, oh, in the industry, this, what you're doing is conforming. You could be ahead of the game yeah. and like change the game. Someone never wants to change the game. It's mm -hmm. so typical that yeah. Let's just do what everyone else is doing. Exactly. And I was so disappointed with that judge Wendy. I literally just wanted to Why would and you know what? Like you know what she hurts me and how she talks as well. I'm like, I'm about to say that why would you so she? unbelievably naughty and unprofessional? Who is she? Who do you who, who is she? Like that? 
I was like, no, so unbelievably naughty. Who says that, bro? <laughs> that's not even her, like, that's a persona. She's got, yeah. You can tell it's a persona, it's not even you. And I just thought, oh, coming from another black woman, like, it was just like, no, why? Why are you gonna do this? Shutting down my silence. My cell- I know. I was just like, your silence is shit if you don't know about Silk Press or other <laughs> like things. It was so heartbreaking to watch. Like, it was actually heartbreaking to watch this beautiful young woman be put through that. I was like, that's disgusting. And then for her to then apologize afterwards. Yeah. That's what put the knife in there for me. Yeah. It's like, I should apologize. No. Like, yeah. Hold your ground, This whole thing about like, if you want to be in this industry, this is what you have to do to be there. I think that's ridiculous. And I'm just, I'm so sad that she had to go through that. Me too. But I think recently she cut her hair back down to short, natural. Yes. And it looks the bomb. I saw, I did see recent images. Cause um, obviously after you posted that, I just went on the page. I was Mm. like, let me look. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Cause this was back in, I think it was back in April. So it was earlier this year. Yeah. But it's just resurfaced on social media. So she's cut her hair now. Maybe that was because to cut it all out. I don't know. I think so. But it looks like I'm sure it would. Yeah. And she does look the bomb now. Yeah. She does look really, really nice. But yeah, that's just disgusting behaviour. But yeah, so in that situation, what would you do? You would just be like, suggest something else. I'd suggest something else first and then see what I got to do. I don't, I was, just, I would say you can even cut my hair. I would not, I don't think I would want Relaxer to touch me. Like mm. Relaxer itself. Especially now what we know. Like, exactly. We're so informed. We have, you know, there's not these myths or like we're educated. So it's just And there's like, other ways of doing option. it. Like there's so, if you want straight hair, for instance, for me, in my mindset, when it comes to modeling, surely you want a model to be so adaptable. So if you need her for a curly hair shoot, one day she can book that. If you need her for a straight hair shoot, mm. one day she can book that. And she could be very versatile. So while you're chemically straightening her hair completely for like the rest of all time, I don't even understand. And then afterwards, she, like, she had a mop on her head anyway. It didn't even look that like <laughs> Yeah, it didn't even look <laughs> <laughs> even even though she was like, oh wow, yeah. I was like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> like it did not look good. No. So yeah, Wendy. Even when she went to the judging, I was like, since that was Wendy, a waste you cancelled. I mean, you wasn't there before. I didn't know you, but you definitely cancelled, honey. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. Moving on to public figures. Okay, Serena Williams. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about Serena. <laughs> Serena, Serena, queen, warrior, princess, tennis player, greatest athlete of all time, mother, mm. everything. And she just always gets it. And I, I, I really, really feel for her. I remember watching a clip of her when she was 14 and this white guy was interviewing her and she, he was like, kind of, kind of like, why are you so confident? Who asked a 14 year old why you're so mm. confident? So from back then they've been trying to break her confidence and up until now, now you get the caricatures by, of course, racist Australians, mm-hmm. um, um, depicting her as a, whatever, a big cry baby, whatever. But is your, so, is your thing just about the aftermath or is it actually anything to do with the actual game and how she acted? So the game, I mean, yeah, the game, Athletes do that all the time. So if she got she got fined, which you no know, other athletes have been fined, mm-hmm. but at the same time, so was she in the wrong? Um, I do feel that she was in the wrong mm-hmm. when it comes to that behaviour, but it's not unheard of, and mm-hmm. she's not she shouldn't be pointed out for that behaviour as if she's the only person that's done that. Mm-hmm. Um, and especially when it comes to other men like Federer and everything, because yeah. I was looking it up, they yeah. acted in the yeah. same way. No, that's what I was checking because yeah. I was gonna say I do think she was in the wrong in yeah. terms of like the umpire. What do you umpire? umpire yeah. What do you say? Umpire. Tennis umpire mm-hmm. was correct. He was one of them like stick to, to the, the rules. rules yeah. So he was right in terms of what he called for. That's why I wanted to check. Like, yeah, was it's just the fact that the balance is that the yeah men, oh yeah absolutely and, other, and they're not called on the same things if you're sticking to the rules kind of thing so yeah 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 man I, and I feel so in that respect I still think Serena is right yeah. because if it was a man maybe he would not have been called on mm-hmm. that um and yeah the media was trying to depict it as like a um kind of like a, a trying to take away from um Naomi Osaka's yeah. win and then lo and behold, them two really know each other. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, Serena's been kind of her idol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't feel like... Just, yeah, always trying to be an aggressive, and yeah. angry black woman, like throwing her toys out the pram, all this kind of stuff. How mm. they're trying to um, portray her. Yeah, most and it's, Which is always in a negative light, I feel Always like. in a negative light. Anything that she In terms of her, her character. Yeah, like, even her appearance. Like, yeah, oh yeah, and appearance, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like anything they can do. I will never forget one, what that blonde idiot name? What her name? The other one, Sharap, Sharap, Sharap. Sharap is over, that girl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she like stuffed stuff on her bum, 
um, was acting as Serena. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Like I that. thought you meant playing the game. No, I was no, like, no. What? But, like, on in the like, in the media sphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget yeah, John yeah. McEnroe, who's been swearing yeah. and abusive for how many years? Mm -hmm. Fine all the time, don't get me wrong, but still, like, there's no... Mm -hmm. That media thing when it comes to him, there's no negative racial character traits because obviously he's a white man. Yeah, as always. Yeah, and there's just this thing of like, oh, as this, as this black woman, you know, she can take it. She can take it. No. She can take it. She can take it. Hit after hit after hit. You know, and it's just like she's as an athlete, she's strong. She's a strong black woman. Like she can take it. She can take it. It's just like she's human too. Yeah, it's like people don't see that. You and know? even after that cartoon, the caricature, there was Australian players on some next football team, or was it a football team, or some kind of athletes, then dressed up in blackface as Serena. Australia, man, fix yourself up, bro. What's wrong with you? She just I had know. to endure so much. That woman is incredible, you know. It's sad that she has to endure, endure all of that, though, because it's not... It's not fair, like it's yeah. genuinely not fair, regardless of how great she is, she still mm -hmm. shouldn't be going through this. And throughout her whole tennis mm -hmm. career as well, it's been a norm where Serena's been kind of like the brunt of many jokes and it's not, it's just blame racism and misogyny. Yeah, that's basically it. It is, it is. Point blank, But period. Serena, we love you. We and do. You know, we're proud of you. We do. It's, we it's, do. So, it's sad. Um, so, yes, yeah, so the latest news is that Cynthia Erivo, who mm -hmm. I love, if you don't know her, she's a British Nigerian actress, singer, songwriter, mm -hmm. and I know that recently she was in The Colour Purple in America. So she was cast in the biopic um, um, as, as Harriet Tubman. Tubman. And there's been a bit of controversy. Diaspora. Because... People are thinking that, so as a British actress, she shouldn't be playing that role, and it should be an American actress. I mean, that's what, I'm, that gathering. what, that's what I'm gathering, anyway. Um, um, my, I'm a bit split on this, because... Likewise. I don't know, there's part of me that thinks, as an actress, as that craft, and as that creativity, that's the whole point of it, as in you should be able to play is a role you mm -hmm. should be able to play a role do your work in terms of becoming that person and mm -hmm. uh, portraying that character whoever you're playing and that person whoever you're playing she is a fantastic fantastic actress i'm not sure if you've seen her act before but she is amazing and i feel that she would do the role well mm, in terms of her skills How? in terms of her skills Whatever. yeah yeah but let me finish my pro points Go on, right, the pro point. Yeah, so in terms of her skills, I feel because I have a however as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, what are your pro points? Do you have pro points for this or not really? Um, I do. She's a great actress. She's proven her uh, worth as an actress and her, her ability, like you said, her skills, mm -hmm. her um, her her past experience and stuff like that. Um, again, the UK experience as an actor or actress is very, very limited. Um, you kind of have to go overseas, even though we try to build things here, which we are. Um, so why, like, my thing is like, no one was crying when she was over there doing um, the color purple. Yeah. So is it just because of who she's playing? I believe. See, this is the thing. I personally believe. If I, I think I'm putting myself in American shoes. Mm. Me personally, I would have an issue if, for instance, we had Americans playing Bob Marley, Mark, um, Marcus Garvey, Nanny of the Maroons. Not, and you, it's kind of like. These are real people. Mm -hmm. These are historical, real so, icons. Yeah, so that was going to be my point, because yeah. you're playing a real person. person. Yeah. yeah, so for me, and it's not the first time that a British person has acted as someone who is instrumental to the black American struggle as mm -hmm. an African-American. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman now. It's just a bit like... Mm, I don't know. It's a hard... It's not like I don't get it. I absolutely get it. But my thing is, is people need to understand that it's not a case of... Well, as a good actor, actress, mm -hmm. it's not a case of, here, here's a script, learn the lines, go on screen and deliver. Mm -hmm. You do your research. You have you, to, you, yeah. you, you are invest, like, so I, that's what I'm saying, like, I know she would, everything that you just said, like, mm -hmm. I know that she would, she wouldn't be taking this lightly as in, oh yeah, just another role, whatever, I'm just going to learn my lines, just, like, no, that's why I'm just like, well, she... She would, the same way, just because someone that was African-American, they would have to do that as well. 
they would have to go through that same process. So what's different from Cynthia going through that process? I don't, I don't because know. Because yeah, what do you mean? Because if you don't going like, through that process. You, yeah, because there's going to be a lack of cultural nuance when it comes to that process. Process. You're going to approach it as someone who doesn't fully understand that experience. If someone as an American can definitely try and act as a Jamaican, but we all know straight away. Like you're not a Jamaican. Mm. There are certain cultural nuances that even when you're going through that rigorous process of learning, um, look at Mel and um, Yadi. Even though he's Jamaican descendant, mm. people can still tell you like you weren't born here. You don't have like some of these cultural nuances, which is not his fault. He did a great job, mm. but it's noticeable. You, like people coming to the last year, say video saying the exact same thing. Mm. So when it comes to someone that is real and historical, I do feel like that. And she was okay. We put my hands up. She was respectful in that res in retort. But I don't still, I still get the criticism and I do get why I get the criticism. And it's also, well, another point that was brought up is that someone who's not descended on slavery. Um, do you see what I mean? So that even even if it perhaps was someone who was went through slavery no, for I someone don't know. else. I don't know, I think this is going too far now. I don't think so. I think as an actress, as your job as an actress, I think that's now going too far. No, no, I, I feel think like, that's now going too far. But then, so that's the same excuse as white people playing black people then. It's acting, it's a role. We're supposed to be able to embody people. But again, that's that. Like, you don't have the racial nuance. You're a white person, you're not a black person. Okay, so we just, oh no, you didn't get to see it. Okay, so there's Sylvia in um, mm -hmm. in theater at the moment with Beverly Knight. Mm -hmm. And it's about the Emily Pankhurst story. Um, and you have like this black man that's playing Winston Churchill. You've got a lot of black actresses playing members of um, Pankhurst family, etc., mm -hmm. and they're mixing it up. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a real person about yeah. the suffragettes, etc., etc. And that was completely celebrated on their acting ability. So it de I just think it depends where your focus is. Like, see, for me, for that, I kind of get the criticism. Because what criticism? About there wasn't. Well, there was white people were issued, had issues with Sylvia. Oh, yeah, for Sylvia. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of get it. Like, at the same time, it's like, which way do you want it? Do you yeah. see what I mean? No, but that wasn't a, say, but no, no, the point I was making, sorry, is that wasn't a, um, because what was that thing? Was there a film on Cleopatra or something? No. Yeah. Was there the whole, what was the whole thing? Sorry, wait, pause for a second. Oh yeah. So if there's anything that's along the lines on like, making somebody look as that person, black face or mm -hmm. making someone light or making someone darker to resemble that person. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like that's to me different than like doing something that what Sylvia and mm -hmm. the Zoo Nation have done. It's so not about like literally resembling that person. Okay. Like it's a clear like but we're I get it, I get doing it. a remix. Yeah, I get the remix, but then you're to you have to talk about the context. Black people don't get to like play people that aren't black technically a lot of the time when it comes mm. to stuff like that so as we have always been uh, even the blackface been acted in by white people in our shows or stuff we've just mm. all been completely erased yeah. so what we're talking about is the power dynamic so something like Sylvia, Sylvia is like one in a million as opposed to other instances where it's been the total other yeah. way around. But that's why I brought it up as an yeah. example. It's like that's it's something that's happening is happened in said, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I get that. I get that. But I also get the criticism that way too. Yeah. I'm like, well, if it's, she's a real person, I'm sure you want to kind of leave her as she was. So like, like I said, it's, it's just respect. To that's me, it's just respect. Yeah. And like I said, it's not that I disagree. I 100% get it. And it is respect. But it's hard. It is respect. respect. But then I think... I, there's also that creator in me, that person that used to act, that person that's done a drama degree, mm -hmm. which I'm like, that's fucking dope. Like, yeah, yeah I get it. I you get know it. what I mean? It's there's achievement. That, yeah, it's that, it's that whole thing of like, I like the fact that they've pushed the boat out or like, I don't know, there's that just act, a creator I in me that it. I'm just like, but I feel like the same, it's but yeah, I get it. Idi Amin acting, um, Forrest Whitaker acting as Idi Amin. Um, yeah. It's a real person. Yeah. Everyone knew that Forrest Whitaker like wasn't African, and it's it's obvious to say. Even though he did a great job, it's obvious. So again, it's about that. Respect. So, but why is that not enough? Huh? What do you mean? As in, like, I'm just playing devil's advocate. <laughs> why is that not enough? That like, he did a great job. Do you know what? That was excellent. He did well. Because why? Why can we not stop there? Because it's a historical thing. It's about respect. It's like, okay, then fine. Let white people play at Egypt. You did a great job. <laughs> you really Egyptian, bro. Great job. It's about that respect towards that real experience that happened. It is. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But 
Yeah, we agree. Basically, yeah, no. we just playing different. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing devil's advocate, <laughs> but yeah, I agree. So, but it's interesting discussion. Um, but tell yeah, us I, what you think down yeah, below in no. the comments. Let us know for real. But I wish her the best, to be honest. I know she, she will kill it. Either I'm way. Team Cynthia, so she I'm will kill it. But I understand the criticism. Um, so new things. Um, the MOBA awards are not happening this year. It was um, announced today. Yeah, literally oh, today. Okay, be on the ball. Um, <laughs> But yeah, they're not happening. Um, Kanye King, uh, founder, has established a new strategy team. Um, and they're going to be happening next year for a bigger, better event, supposedly. Paul, <laughs> if you're not going to do the MOBAs this year, and you've got a new strategy team and all this kind of stuff, you have to wait till 2019, you better be bringing something good. True. Because I was sick of the MOBAs, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I stopped watching them. Too. Okay, good. Because I don't know what... I think it was the I don't know what that was. came on, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I don't know what this the mobos was turning into, but I was just like, no. So I'm glad to hear this. Good, yeah, maybe, right. maybe. Obviously, don't know, but I'm hoping that she has taken on board people feedback. I'll say feedback, positive, negative criticism, and they're trying to do something about it. I hope. I'm sure she will. Like she created the mobos. Like I'm sure she's got the she's got the goal and she's got the drive to like change into something new. And she's got a new team, so surely she's probably. I wonder who the team is, though. Same. That's 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 where you get the real answers. Hmm. Who's the team? Yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm really skeptical about this. I just like I don't I'm, feel. I don't know. I, I should have my faith. No, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm optimistic. Yeah. I'm really okay. hoping Sam Smith or Jesse J. <laughs> no one else is up in there. I really don't want to see them. I see them. I'm like, it's cancelled again. Like I, I will support you for this new change. Like I'm honestly, I've got this thing in my mind. Like, I don't want to be negative, but they're gonna do this whole like inclusion and diversity thing, like and which they're kind of already on that, like, but they're just gonna make it bigger. That's where I see it going. So not mobos, but yeah, yeah, because that's what it is now. Like Pokemon, Gobos, POC, mobos, whatever. Hell no, no, we're not doing that. Please. I feel like they're gonna come with this whole like, let's all celebrate music. Music. <laughs> Why do you sound like Beyonce? Let's all. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like. I anyway. My point is, that I, I do it. really hope that they come back with what. The mobos originally is that's what we all want that's what we all want to see i hope mm -hmm. that has been fed back to her so that when they do this whole revamp mm. you just come back with the fire like I feel like make it why we loved it you know that's the thing and that's one thing like i do kind of get upset when i see like americans have their their, their shows and stuff and we have to look to them I, i'm not one for looking to america to do anything and the fact that like the award shows and stuff i know they've been there for centuries longer than we have been here i know but like the kind of the celebration of it and I get like how it, it looks like just so proud and I really want to have that again yeah Do you yeah. see what I mean 100% yeah so 100% because really that. that would be good so also we went to a screening of the Bobby Brown story oh yeah I literally forgot did you watch it did you watch it did you watch the second part no Mm -mm. I'm going to. I just didn't have time. Did you like the first part? Yes, it was amazing. I really needed that, like, to understand his story better. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, um, so yeah, so it's the Bobby Brown story, as the title says, mm. his version of events, because he has been quiet for a long time. There will be all these stories that blow up about Whitney, mm -hmm. but you don't really hear much from Bobby. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, oh, when I heard about Bobby Brown's story, I was like, really what's going on here and i must say it was really good i really enjoyed it it was so interesting hearing his side his version yeah. because i think for so long it's been a few i mean there has been a whitney and bobby thing before yeah, yeah, yeah. and then obviously recently there was the whitney biopic um so yeah i thought it was really good hearing bobby's side and there's always there's three sides to every story, isn't it? Yeah, his yeah. side has side and the truth. So, but I found it really interesting, and I, I the actual piece, like the the, the film, was ripping. Mm, like very. from like, the get go, you would go down and come back up, and then go back down. Mm -hmm. And his life was just so tumultuous that you understand really like why he did some of the things that he did, like especially with no coping mechanism or therapy. Like I think therapy was a big missing compartment mm -hmm. in that in that in his life. Yeah. Um, and it was just nice, it, this felt like it was in his truth. 
regardless if it was the actual truth, it was in his truth, and that's what it felt like, the peace sign. And then we had the talk with Woody and um, Gabrielle played, afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I just feel like, without giving too much away, but I didn't expect them to say as much as, as I didn't expect the story, sorry, to say as much as it did. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it actually covers, um, it doesn't go too in depth about Whitney though, mm -hmm. which I thought maybe they would have, but I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad they didn't go mm -hmm. too in depth, but it goes as far up until you know Whitney passing and Bobby Christina passing, like it goes that far, which I was I didn't realize it goes mm. that far. So I was like, oh, like we're actually oh oh, oh we're getting okay. the real like, like, yeah, like we're getting thing. the real yeah. deal. I was not expecting that at all, and um, just hearing what he's gone through is just like sad, damn from the get go as well. It's 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 a good watch. I must admit, like it mm -hmm. is a good watch. Um, yeah. Really really well made, mm -hmm. well casted. I feel like Woody did a great job mm -hmm. like really good job i'm so proud of him for coming from like instagram and youtube yeah. and doing his thing it it being social out. media does things you know here yeah. um also something that i've watched this is very much a segue but um rest in power trayvon martin oh you're telling me about that ah uh, sorry i'm literally speechless it's in six parts and more or less is about the trial um of this george zimmerman guy that shot him dead it is watch it watch it watch it mm. like you know when you think something's bad and you just feel like it can't get any worse and it does it gets worse like five times over i literally can't even imagine what their family went through are still going through it is a horrific story but it's just, it's just something you have to watch mm -hmm. and it's a huge part of history as the documentary says and shows and yeah like i i don't even know i don't have any more words it's just something you have to watch you have to watch it like you just don't think it can get any worse and it does and i'm just like wow i obviously don't want to give much away but um yeah watch it watch it have you been watching insecure yes oh oh i have oh, oh, oh. i have insecure woo easy got issues woo <laughs> Musical, really? Listen, ah, uh, you need to catch up. Like, really? Uh, mm. There's one fine Asian guy in there, and you know me, um, yeah. But I was like, yo, where do you find this guy at? Okay. But like, he's really good looking. Okay, he's so All the men are good looking in there. Okay, he's I'm just so like, the story, money getting on my nerves, easy okay. getting on my nerves, and I love flawed characters, so it's oh. really good. But yeah, Insecure, I'm watching that, and it's been confirmed for a fourth season. Ah! Uh, really good. Greenleaf is back as well. Yay! <laughs> but Dope. yeah, very good. Anything else I've watched has got nothing to do with just black people. So don't be just. <laughs> and did you watch um, Shira's story? No. Okay, we not talk about one and then that. Yeah. yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Nah. Okay. Let's not put that. I don't need that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in. No. Like, I ain't seen it. No. Never mind. Don't Sorry. worry about it. Sorry, darling. No, no, that's right. no, neither do I. Never mind. <laughs> Well, wow, that, that was, was it. Episode 20. <laughs> yes. Right. And we will see you in the next episode.